Hey, I'm Rachel Ngom from ShoesMakingImpact.com. And today I want to talk to you all about your niche market because this is something I see a lot, a lot of entrepreneurs struggle on. They have this awesome idea or many ideas, but they have a hard time actually narrowing it down. And the riches are in the niches. So let's talk about what is a niche market <laughs> to start off with. So a niche market is a subset of a market where a specific product or service is found. And it's really, really important that you find that specific niche that you want to serve because you can't, you just can't be all things to all people. They say that the riches are in the niches and it is so, so, so true. So I was at Tony Robbins Wealth Mastery event. Keith Cunningham is, if you've ever read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, Keith is the rich dad. So we were able to spend a few hours with him and he gave the example of two car companies, Volvo and GM. Volvo has really dominated the niche market for car safety while GM tried to be just a generic kind of vehicle for all kinds of people, right? What happened? Volvo is growing like crazy and GM is bankrupt really important lesson. So Keith asked the question, what real estate do you own in the consumer's mind? Meaning when they think about your brand, what comes to mind? It's really crucial that you select a niche market. So I'm gonna have a four part video series for you. Today is tip number one of just helping you find your niche market. And then we'll have a few more um, videos to help you even more. So tip one is to check your analytics. Check out, if you don't have Google Analytics installed on your blog, you need to. And just take a look and see which of your posts are performing the best. Or let's say you're not blogging yet, you should be blogging. Maybe you look at YouTube and YouTube Analytics, wherever you have some form of analytics where you can see what your audience is resonating with best. So I'll give the example of when I was in the fitness industry. I was trying to be all things to all people, just kind of like that generic health and fitness coach. And I looked at my analytics and I realized that the post that I did about eating high fat, low carb, which is a keto diet. So all my keto posts and intermittent fasting posts got the most traction by far. So I just kind of thought to myself, what if I only blogged about keto and intermittent fasting? So that's what I did. And I became known very quickly as the go-to person when it came to keto, which I never would have been able to do if I was just all fitness things to all people, okay? So I've got three more tips for you that will be coming soon. In the meantime, make sure to head to she'smakingitimpact.com. You can get my free Pinterest cheat sheet and sign up for our free Pinterest workshop. We're gonna help you generate more leads and sales in your business using Pinterest. I'll see you later.